Unit number B6, uh, Chapter 1, uh, Water Treatment. Now, uh, the objective uh, uh, for, for this chapter is uh, we take a look at the, the, the common impurity in the feed water treatment and the problem they cause. Uh, so I'll put this one in video number one. And then uh, the, the next video, uh, we'll do the water makeup or uh, the boiler makeup uh, water GP treatment method. Uh, uh, all different types of uh, uh, units, okay? Now the, the com common problem in the boiler is, uh, so we we want the, the idea for, for us uh, is, we want the boiler run as long as possible, uh, last a long time. The other one is uh, the economy. Uh, so those problems list in here, either one or the other. Uh. Now, the sludge deposit uh, uh, is some related to the economy. Uh. If you have sludge de deposit on the boiler heating surface, and then uh, the heat transfer rate is no good, uh, and then you lost some money in there. Uh. Now the scale, eh? the scale is the some different types of salt. Eh? Just uh, most of them is just uh, calcium and magnesium salt. Um, they they are soluble eh? on the room temperature, but they will deposit eh? in the the boiler heating surface. Eh? And if you have a, a one layer of a, a scale, eh? the heat transfer rate is uh, not as good as before as so the economy. Eh? There is another thing the, the scale will cause eh? is they produce a local localized hot spot. And the metal in the localized hot spot eh, it may fail. Eh? So that is the uh, safety. Eh? So both the economy eh, and safety. Okay. Now the next one is the corrosion. Eh? Now most, uh, just say the, the boiler, they make a uh, ferric, eh? the iron, uh, steel. Eh? So if you have corrosion, eh? so that means some of the, the metal is wasted away. Eh? Be, for example, if you have it in the, the steel boiler, eh? the steel will become FEO. Eh? FeO, Fe2O3 or something like that. So some type of oxide, iron oxide, uh, and waste away the your your, your metal. Uh. So as we saw, uh, the metal is become thinner and thinner, uh, and the structure, uh, the integrity uh, of the boiler is reduced. Uh. Now and the next one is a carryover. Uh, so the carryover is something inside the boiler go out of the boiler with the steam eh? so the steam carry over um, something to the steam user eh? now if you carry carry some something um, just a mineral or something like that eh? and then the steam will hit the superheated tube eh? deposit something in there when the steam uh, with the mineral, lots of uh, carryover mineral, uh, hit the turbine, uh, it will create an imbalance uh, of, in the turbine. And then the clearance of the turbine, break and the housing is really, really um, uh, small. Uh, and you could ruin the whole turbine this way. Uh, okay. So we want to uh, get rid of all these uh, problems. Uh. Now I show you some picture on that. Uh, about this, uh, you, you see the the sludge. Uh, uh, in here, most of them is uh, outside thick soft layer eh, is sludge. Eh. The inside of, inside layer, eh, it is your uh, the corrosion. Eh. Now the, on the right hand side, eh, you have the the scale. Eh. So this this is a. Uh, uh, the picture so uh, a really serious case. Uh, you see in here, you pretty much lost uh, half the capacity of the pipe. Uh, the scale uh, built up inside. Uh. 
Okay. Now the exit corrosion, uh, you see on the top there, you have some uh, rust uh, and then the, the spot show you in the black spot that is the uh, uh, exit corrosion and it take away some of the metal. Uh. Now another type of corrosion uh, is a, a caustic corrosion. You can see uh, the ship in here, this, uh, that is the caustic corrosion. Uh. Now the next one is the, this one is the, the turbine bray. Uh. So it looks like impulse turbine bray. Uh. You, you can see there's quite a bit of uh, a deposit in the bray there. So when the, the turbine bray, uh, they turn at really high speed. Sometimes uh, as high as well, 5,000, 5,000 RPM. Uh. So, and then if you have some imbalance there, it could make the, the wheel uh, all balance a little bit uh, and hit the housing. Uh, and then you ruin the, the, the turbine that way. Uh, okay. Now, so this, uh, this portion uh, is about the water pre-treatment uh, before the water go into the, the boiler. So now let's take a look what's what's inside the the water uh, that we put it in into in into the boiler to make steam, huh? Suspend the material solid, dissolve solid, uh, and gas, and uh, pH is not impurity. Uh, it's just a uh, one state. Uh, there's a uh, first four, three is the impurity, uh, and then the pH uh, is the status of the the water. Okay. Okay, now suspend the solid. Uh, so as the name in pi, uh, it's it suspend, uh, not dissolve. Uh, it's just floating around in the water. Okay, this could be uh, just say the if you take the the water from the river, they might some have a uh, biologic just say the vegetation, uh, some leaf or something like that. Uh, now, and then also we include the, the dirt, eh? the mud, the dirt, the seal, and uh, some sand, and the biological coal, eh? the bacteria. They go with a, a big ball and then they go in there too. Eh? And uh, also some of the inorganic matter. Eh? Okay. Now, so if you don't, we don't take this thing out, eh? when those are suspended solid, hit the, the, hit the, the, the heating surface, eh? it gets stick there. Eh? And it will loss a loss of economy, uh, and and also the safety too. Uh. Now, those sand, uh, how can I know? They they do not dissolve in in the water, but this one, uh, dissolve the solid. Okay, dissolve solid. Uh, we refer this. Uh, it's just like the the hardness. Uh, how hard the water is. Okay, there's two types of hardness. Now. Temporary hardness, huh? It, it's some uh, the the hardness that when you heat up the water a little bit, huh? it doesn't necessarily have to go to the boiling point. Huh? It come out already. So uh, most of them are uh, uh, just a uh, bicarbonate. Uh, bicarbonate, bicarbonate is a uh, temporary hardness. Huh? Now the hardness itself uh, usually it is calcium and magnesium. Huh? So if you have the Two, two different types, eh? you have the bi uh, form of bicarbonate, eh? that's a temporary hardness. Eh? Now, uh, one of the examples eh, is if you, you are, uh, your city provides you lots of hot water, eh? and most likely, you know, when you boil, eh? you boil the water, and then those, those temporary hardness, eh? it just drop out, eh? become the powdery stuff on the bottom of your kettle. Okay. Now, the permanent hardness, eh? This kind of hardness, uh, it will not come out of the, the water, even somewhere around near the boiling point. Uh, now, uh, I should say that, you know, when we will precipitate out, uh, when you go to high, tem high temperature, because, you know, the pressure of the boiler, inside the boiler is a whole lot higher. So if you run run the, the boiler probably around a thousand a thousand kPa, uh, your boiling point uh, is a hundred uh, hundred eight somewhere around hundred eighty degree. Uh, so this is high in the temperature. So for the calcium or magnesium salt uh, to precipitate out uh, and stick in the boiler too. 
一旦你 inside 的 outside depend what time is water tube or fire tube boil 哎，那啊，都都是我喊的是啊 ，the common one 呢 is a sulfate 啊 ，carbonate and chloride 啊 ，so you just combine the, the calcium calcium sulfate calcium chloride calcium carbonate 啊 ，and magnesium 啊 ，sulfate magnesium carbonate and magnesium chloride，so those are the formula in there。so this one 啊、uh, the Permanent hardness, okay. Now, dissolved gas, ah, <coughs> we don't care about you know the the nitrogen, ah, it depends on that. But we do care about two of them, ah. Two of them, one is oxygen, and another one is CO two, ah. Now, the oxygen, ah, um, will cause corrosion because ah、uh, because you know the most boiler is F ah、uh, just.、Uh, Uh, steel, uh, make of steel, uh, so steel is iron, Fe, uh, so um, the result uh, of the, the oxygen uh, is FeO, uh, Fe2O3, uh, so you can see uh, there is an O in there, there is an oxygen, uh, okay? now, if we don't have any oxygen, uh, we will not have the, we cannot, you cannot form the rust, uh, the FeO, uh, so That is a big oxygen is a a a, a cooper in there, so we have to get rid of of this. Ah,、uh. now there is one term. Ah,、uh, it's a really common term in in the、uh, operating engineering. Ah,、uh, it's oxygen pitting. Now this one. Ah,、uh, um, this type of corrosion. Ah,、uh, is really really bad, because ah,、uh, it's pit just a a tiny little bit. Ah,、uh. it could be you know ten of a a centimeter. Ah.、Uh. A couple of millimeters, something like that.、Huh? Really, really small diameter. But the problem is,、eh, instead of going wide,、eh, it go deep. But just say, you know, it could be, you know, the tip of the the pencil head,、eh, that thing. But the problem is,、eh, it not spread out.、Eh? It go the grow.、Eh? Instead of spreading out, it go deep.、Eh? So you you see, ah,、eh, your the boiler tube, ah,、eh, maybe only one.、Uh, Five six, probably you know, some of them not even five mm. Ah,、uh, so if this this type of、uh, pitting, it go deep. Ah,、uh, and it's really really easy. Ah,、uh, to uh, go through the the tube. Ah,、uh. now, if just a a small hole in there, ah,、uh, if only go through a small hole, that is dangerous enough. Ah,、uh, because if as long as you have a small small hole in there, the pressure inside the boiler will. We do the waste or the job to expose them,、eh? so it escape from the 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 small hole, ah,、eh? and then it, every every drop of steam want to go go for the same hole,、eh? and it expand, and then the whole thing just rip apart, ah.、Eh? So even a a, a small hole, ah,、uh, for the oxygen pitting, ah,、eh? it will rip the the boiler tube apart, ah.、Eh? Okay. Now the other one inside the the air, ah,、uh, we care about is the CO two. CO two, ah,、uh, they combine with water, become a carbonic acid, eh? Now it to CO, CO three, eh? So any type of acid will lower the 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 pH, ah,、uh, as the pH, ah,、uh, uh, in decrease, ah,、uh, ah,、uh, the corrosion rate will increase. Okay, so those the two we want to get rid of, ah.、Uh. Ah,、uh, now the corrosion, ah.、Uh, Area called by the、uh, gas that、uh, in、uh, um, there are different、uh, area、uh, now the fit water pipe uh, and the uh, econ economizer、uh, is on the fit water system too so that is one category ah、uh, because in here the temperature is not very high yet ah、uh, now and then ah、uh, uh, inside the boiler um. That that's the end of the the area we have to look at. Ah,、uh. another one is after the steam, ah,、uh, go out of the boiler. It become just the steam go out. You have, the steam pipe you have to worry about. Ah,、uh. and then when you condense, ah,、uh, the steam become condensate. Ah,、uh, there's a return pipe coming there.、Uh. There's another category. Ah,、uh. a few different area, a few different treatment. Ah,、uh, we have to do. Now pH. Ah.、Uh, Uh, it it will、uh, affect the corrosion rate.、Uh, okay, so you take chemistry.、Uh, you saw seven is neutral.、Uh, anything lower is acidic.、Uh, anything higher、uh, is alkali.、Uh, 
Now, let's take a look at the corrosion weight of the, of the inside the boiler. Now, this curve, uh, uh, it shows the, uh, the how much uh, corrosion uh, will happen in the boiler, the green line. Uh, okay. Now, you see, um, in here, the, when you hit the, this area, the, the, where the arrow is, uh, so that is somewhere around 10 points, 10.5 to 11.5. Uh, so that is the lowest corrosion way. Uh, so that means in this one, uh, in this area, that is what we want to keep the, the boiler, the pH uh, water in. Uh, so 10.5 to 11.5. Uh, lots of time we, we keep it. Uh, uh, a little bit closer to 10.5 uh, than 11.5. So that is the range we want to keep keep uh, keep the, the our boiler pH. Uh. Now you can see in the graph there, uh, between 8.5 and 12.7, uh, uh, it's acceptable, uh, but it's not optimal. Uh. You see the corrosion rate goes up. Uh, it goes up when the pH goes down. The corrosion rate goes up. When the pH goes up, uh, the corrosion rate always goes up. Okay. Now, uh, so in the curve there, you can see uh, when it goes down to one four, uh, and the corrosion rate is really, really high. Uh, okay. So this one on the low side, uh, the pH low, uh, that there's uh, it just a uh, uh, exit corrosion. Uh, now, when you go to the uh, other side of the curve, uh, when you go to 13 or 14 or something like that, uh, there's another type of uh, a corrosion. Uh, it's called caustic and bitumen. Uh, so this one uh, will cause your boiler speed, uh, uh, caustic and bitumen, something wrong happened here. Okay. Now on this uh, chart there, uh, it shows you uh, uh, what we want to do uh, about how those uh, whatever in the water that we want to cheat the water eh? okay now uh, so the exit eh? if you low eh? you increase the the, the corrosion weight, corrosion weight eh? and the, this also uh, encourage eh? the scale deposit too eh? okay now the solution eh? is a neutralize the exit eh? neutralize the exit or Put loss, you can say you know the the possible process solution eh, is to increase the uh, the pH eh, okay now the alkalinity eh, when you go to thirteen and fourteen eh, you have the caustic and bitumen eh, and the problem eh, uh, when when you have uh, that higher pH usually the the TDS is high too eh, you have foaming and carry over eh. so what is it you you just treat the the water going in eh, Use a water softener uh, to do this. Uh. Okay, now, and then uh, the the chloride, uh, the chloride, uh, uh, you will have some uh, deposit. Uh, increase the corrosion way. Uh, so you treat the water with uh, demineralization. Uh, uh, demineralization is use two different types of, of softener. Uh, one take the the cation. Now one take the anionide out. Uh, or we will also osmosis. Uh, that is a good one. We were so small uh, nowadays uh, lots of big water plant, uh, big boiler plant, they all use a reverse osmosis. Uh, don't have to get handle the, the chemical anymore. Uh. Now the dissolved oxygen, uh, dissolved oxygen uh, will cause a corrosion uh, and pitting, those things. How you take uh, to prevent this? You use a deaeration. Uh. Deaeration that means uh, we in our lab we don't have that, uh, but Outside there, uh, every plant have a uh, deaerator. Uh, take the air away. Uh, take the deaerator, and then the deaerator is not hundred percent efficient. Uh. So after you go out with the deaerator, go to the boiler, you still have to put some chemical in there uh, to treat it. Uh. So the chemical we use uh, is uh, sodium sulfide. Uh, sodium sulfide. Okay. Now the the hydrocarbon uh, is just like uh, oil, uh, some kind of oil, uh, and it will. Uh, Promote uh, forming and a deposit. Uh. Now, in this case, uh, you take it out first. Uh, use a filtration, filter it out. Uh. The hardness, uh, those, those ones are the big one, uh, the scale. Uh. 
So you used to soften, huh? we were so small, so something like to do, do this. Huh? Uh, now I and Kappa, this the, the water softener and uh, we were so small, so we, we take away uh, this. Uh. Now the silica, it it just say uh, um, some sand or something like that. Uh. So in this this case, uh, I I will think a lot of we were no, the silica. You know, if this one is dissol uh, not dissolvable, uh, use filter. Uh, if some of them uh, is the uh, deposit, uh, it's soluble. Uh, you have to use all these uh, uh, different types of solvent. Uh, and reverse osmosis always do the job. Uh, okay. Now suspend the solid. Those are the vegetation, the sand, those kind of things. Those are not uh, dissolvable. There uh, will clarify uh, coagul coagulation uh, and then filter. Okay. Now all these words are clarify, clarify, clarify. And coagulation, uh, those things uh, will be on the the next uh, the second half of uh, the next video. Uh, okay. Now the dissolved solid. Uh, this one uh, is quite quite important the topic. Uh. So as the dissolved solid become higher on your boiler water, you will have foaming. Uh, okay. Now the foaming will produce. Uh, uh, give you the force of reading of your water glass eh, or your level transmitter. So, and then uh, your boiler is actually really low on water eh, and then because of foaming, eh, it gives you a force sense as high in the water. And then you stop the feed water going in eh, and then sooner or later, you know, your your boiler gonna trip. Eh, so this is one of the, the drawbacks. Eh. Now, another one is foaming will promote carry over just uh, a couple of slides ago, we said, you know, carry over, uh, you carry the mineral uh, to this turbine blade uh, and uh, you ruin your turbine, uh, okay? Now, another the, 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 end of the carry, carry over, it, just, it doesn't have to be uh, this, the, the, uh, this source of mineral, uh, you just carry the, the water droplet uh, out, uh, and then the dro water droplet, uh, when it hit on the turbine blade, uh, will cause imbalance, eh? okay? Yeah. So this is solid. Uh, this, I, I would think, you know, um, on the, the next, just a water treatment, eh? uh, the hardness eh? and total dissolved solid, those two are the are really big topic in there, okay? pH, hardness, dissolved solid, eh? okay? Use a uh, water softener eh? and then reverse osmosis. Eh? Now, uh, so the objective of water treatment, what do you want what do you want to, to do to your water before you go into the the boiler? Eh? Okay, now so uh, proper boiler for water treatment eh, is the must. Eh? It is a bigger topic than the economy eh, of your boiler. Because uh, if the the treatment, the water treatment is not only really not good. Eh? Uh, you lost economy already, eh? and that's the end of the issue of the safety. Eh? Safety. Anytime you know you be, you have too much of deposit in the water, eh? you will have some uh, localized hot spot. Eh? That spot is always too hot, eh? and then it may rip apart uh, that small area, and then your boiler fail. Eh? Okay. Now, in this case, uh, if you don't have the the, the proper boiler treatment, uh, uh, the, the life of your boiler is uh, shorter. So let's say you know, if you have corrosion, uh, if you have corrosion, eat away the metal tube, uh, and then your boiler will not last uh, too long, uh, okay? Um, now, so the water treatment depends on uh, uh, the water source. Uh, now, if your if, if your boiler room is in the city, uh, the city already did quite a, a bit of water treatment for you already. Uh, so they do not they do not take out the hardness, uh, but they do uh, remove all the dirt, uh, uh, all the vegetation, uh, all the sand, uh, lots of silica too. Uh, so the city already do that for you. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh. But on the other hand, uh, if you have a boiler situated outside, uh, uh, maybe on an oil field or something like that, you do not have the city water. 
Or you just take whatever water you have, uh, take the muddy water from the river, uh, from a pond, uh, uh, or even you have to a really, really deep well uh, and take the water out there. Okay, so each type require different types of uh, water treatment. Uh. Some of the water makeup uh, is a little bit uh, acidic already, uh, okay? but some of them uh, is uh, alkali. Uh. In this case, though, your pH uh, treatment had to be different too. Uh. Uh, different types of water source, you have a different uh, treatment method. Okay? Now, uh, so you just say you when you first uh, build a water plant, uh, you will hire a chemical company. Uh, they do the the testing of the the water coming in, uh, and then we we'll command a, a treatment program. Uh, so this is all set up for us. Uh, okay. So now in in here now let, let's say you know uh, the two a couple words I have to say take a look. Uh, one is make up, make up water. Another one uh, is a uh, fit, fit water. Eh? Now they're really similar, but uh, the the make up water eh, is the water we put in uh, to just a uh, there's a a big pot of water there. Eh? So we put out, we do our water treatment either from the city eh, or from from the river uh, after we treat this uh, and then we put it in a holding tank so that is a make up water the holding tank uh. now the feed water uh, this one we refer this uh, to to the water inside the to the deaerator we don't have a deaerator uh, in the in the lab so that means the feed water uh, is water for water is inside uh, the stainless steel tank on the on the on the lab, uh, so those those is just a storage tank. Be just before it go into the because before it go into the the boiler. So in our case in the lab, uh, the make up water make up water is just after the water softener uh, between the 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 storage tank and. the uh, and the uh, water softener that is our make up water eh? now and then the feed water is we put some chemical in eh? we also get some condensate out from the turbine exhaust right we mix up everything eh? and put the chemical in those one eh, is the boiler feed water okay so there's a little bit different between the two eh? okay now so the objective of the water treatment water we have lots and lots of di different uh, uh, problem eh? We address the different types of problem. So that's the objective for that. So you, you want to pre prevent the hard scale or sludge tire. Those two tire will deposit in your tube. Now, when you have this thing, this the two thing. One is the economy. Now, just like you you check you reduce the heat the heat transfer weight. Another one is a localized heating uh, overheat uh, will damage your pie. Uh, so that is the uh, scale and the sludge. Uh, okay. Now another one uh, is a, a corrosion. Uh, so the corrosion, um, it either acidic corrosion uh, or the caustic uh, the corrosion. Uh, so the number three is the Cause and tumor. Uh. Now, so the, this number two, uh, the corrosion of pitting, it's just uh, oxygen pitting, uh, and corrosion is a uh, lower pH, uh, so that means we have edges there to take away the oxygen uh, and maintain the, the pH uh, at uh, 10.5 to 11.5. Uh. Now, uh, number three, they separate. Number two, number two and number three almost should be the same category. Uh, is you, you want to uh, P when uh, the inter uh, crystalline uh, cracking, uh, so what we call it is a straight corrosion cracking. Uh, so on the uh, pot, on the boiler metal, that is a caustic and bitumen. Uh, okay. Uh, now in here they said you know the cracking or fracture occurred between the grains of the crystal. Uh, so that is what the straight corrosion cracking is. Uh, 
So if you have a little bit corrosion there, uh, the green, let's say you know the green between the two things, uh, they start with uh, just a small crack, uh, and then uh, as we go, uh, uh, as corrosion go, uh, the stretch corrosion crack will happen uh, and it will be apart. Uh, okay? Now the other one uh, is the piran carryover, uh, and piran carryover, so you want to maintain uh, uh, the, the TDS, uh, total dissolved solid, it's called TDS. Uh, uh, we test it with the conductivity meter. Now you want to keep it on the a level uh, that we recommend by your water treatment company. Now uh, our it's just a small boiler. Uh, I we keep it around a thousand to two thousand micro ohm. Uh, but the big boiler they can they can they can uh, we stand a little bit higher. Uh, lots on the on the big boiler. You know they they run around uh, two uh, fifteen hundred kPa. Uh, they probably keep it around 4,000, eh? but ours keep it 1,000 to 2,000 micro ohm. Eh? Now, if this one is the too high, eh? it's too high, so you you will uh, use a, con a continuous bow down eh, to take some water out. The intermittent bow down, eh? so the continuous bow down is the small pipe on top of the steam drum eh, or the steam space. Eh? Take away those uh, high. TDS water out. Eh? The bottom bow down, eh? the bottom bow down in there is, is the, the couple of well on the bottom of the tank. Eh? Once you ship or whatever, you just bow it down, eh? take all the dirt out. Eh? So that is uh, the intermittent bow down, it also called the bottom bow down. Eh? Now we, we're going to end our this video in here, otherwise, we're getting too long. Eh? So the on the next video, uh, we will take away the the P treatment, uh, P treatment uh, method. Uh, okay, the all the equipment uh, and the the P treatment method. Okay, the rest of the next video. Uh, now on chapter two, there uh, we will take a look the the internal chemical uh, treatment method. Uh, okay, we're gonna end it in here. We start another one. Uh.